We got a viewer question today. What is the best savings account for an adult and your teenager? So we're going to get into it. We're going to talk about the different types of accounts and which one's going to be best for you and which one's best for your teenager. Welcome to another episode of Becoming with Angelina Watkins, and I'm your host, Angelina, your queen of becoming, here to help you achieve emotional, spiritual, and financial prosperity. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about saving money. What is the best saving account for an adult and a teenager? Now, I'm just so excited that we're talking about saving. Saving and investing, I feel like my viewers are now catching on to how important it is to save, how important it is to invest, how important it is to build wealth, okay? So we're looking at savings, and we need a savings. We need a savings, y'all. We need a savings for emergencies. We need a savings in case something happens for catastrophic events. We need a savings in, um, to buy a house, you know, because you got to give earnest money. You got to have a down payment. We need savings for a lot of things, vacations graduations. I know about a month ago we had seniors graduating and that is a lot of money. Okay. We got prom. We got to buy the prom dress. We got to get the shoes. We got to get the hair done, the nails. If you had a son, you got to get that tuxedo. You got to get the shoes. He got to get his hair done. Um, then we got the graduation where you got to buy the cap and gown. We got to get the class ring. Do people still buy class rings? Do they even sell those anymore? I don't even know. But anyway, you got to get a class ring. You got to get the yearbook and you got to have that party because we're so happy they're graduating because we, you know, we, some of us parents, we don't know if our children are going to graduate or not. We're not, we don't know if they're going to get to the end and we're so happy that they got to the end. We got to celebrate that. Okay. And so we got a savings. We got to save our money so we can be prepared for those life events that are happening weddings okay you want to get married we need to be saving some money but where where should you be putting your money that's what we're going to talk about today that's what a viewer asked they wanted to know where is the best savings account for them to put their money and to be saving for their teenager and we're going to talk about that but before we do i want to thank you so much for tuning in i want to welcome you to the show if you are new thank you for joining us um we are here. I started this podcast to talk about any and everything to help you become who you need to be so that you can be able to do the things that you need to do to build your abundant life. Okay. Because I want you to win at love, life, and money. Now, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you don't miss another episode. I drop an episode here every Thursday, dropping the knowledge, okay, to help you be that and become that person and a better version of yourself so that you can get all that life has to offer you. Now, before we get into it, I want to make sure that you get my book, y'all. We ain't talking about money. Just on the podcast, I wrote a book so that I can teach you how to build wealth, path to prosperity, the 17 secrets to building wealth. It is the secrets, y'all, that the wealthy are using, the principles that they follow in order to build their wealth, protect their wealth, and preserve their wealth. So make sure that you hit the uh, link in, the, uh, in the, the description so that you can get it. It's available on Amazon today. Now, let's get into it. I want to talk about it. Savings accounts. Where should you be putting your money? Now, before I tell you what account is best for you and what account is best for your teenager, let me just go over the different types of savings accounts because yes, there are different types of savings account. Now, the first type is your traditional account. Now, back in my day when I worked at the bank, we call those passport savings account because you actually would get a book that was like small, like a passport, and you had to go into the bank. So your traditional savings accounts are those savings accounts which are brick and mortar banks where you actually do your banking in person. And you would come in with this passport book and it would do a debit and credit ledger on the book. And so every time you withdrew money or you deposited money, we would have to run it through the machine and the machine would print out on there um, what, your, what, you, what you withdrew and what your balance was. Those accounts, they don't require um, a large deposit. It's a very low deposit to open the account. Um, 
and but the interest rates are low. You're not earning a whole lot of money with a traditional savings account. There are fees. Now, if it's a custodial traditional savings account, they'll usually waive the fees, but sometimes there are fees. And so um, not only are they charging you fees and giving you low interest to save your money, you giving them your money and they're saying for in turn for you giving me your money, I'm going to charge you a fee and I'm going to give you low interest. Think about that. The next account is your high yield savings accounts. Those are usually with your online banks. They're not a brick and mortar bank. You cannot go and bank in person. Um, it is a low. You can open it with a low balance. However, it's usually a little bit higher than what your traditional might be, but it is low balance. It is a higher interest rate. Um, the interest rates right now are around 4%, 4 so that is keeping up with inflation and maybe a little bit higher than inflation, depending on the economy. And so you those would be uh, nicer than your traditional. And then you also have your money market accounts. Now, they're not typically called savings accounts, but a money market account is like a savings account. They do have a little bit higher opening balance than maybe your online banking, and they do have higher interest. Um, sometimes it might be higher than your online banking. Right about now, they're probably running neck to neck. They're kind of very, very close. The rates right now between the online savings accounts and your money market accounts are very competitive. Um, there are fees. Um, there can be low fees for whether you do on the online um, high yield savings or your money market account. The nice thing about the money market account though is it usually comes with some type of debit card or checks so that if you need the money you can uh, easily get access to your money. Now then there's certificates of deposits. You don't hear people talk about that a lot but if you go into banks you'll see their rates up there for certificates of deposits. That's a type of savings account where you're actually putting your money away um, for a very short term, it might be six months, one year, three years, five years, but it's a very short term. Um, those can be from low to high. It just depends on how long you are going to invest them or not invest the money, but save the money in the CD or how long you or how much money you put in there. So it's usually the higher your balance, the higher your interest rate and the longer your term, the the higher your interest rates. And so those can be can very, go from low. They can be not that much better than a traditional savings too high and be just as great as a money market. It just depends. You would have to check your your banks on what their, their fees are for or their terms are for CDs. Now, there are other savings accounts. Um, there is your cash management accounts. I'm not going to really get into that. That's when you kind of have your checking and your savings are all in one account and being managed at the same bank. And then you have your specialty accounts. Your specialty savings accounts are things like your health savings accounts or your custodial minor accounts, um, things of that nature. Um, they're for a special reason. And so I will just tell you, okay, because the question is, where should I be putting my money for me and my teenager? And the short answer is it depends. <laughs> I know that's not what you want to hear, but it depends. It depends on your money goals. It depends on what you're trying to do. It depends on um, what you, whether you need the money now or you need the money later. But I will tell you one thing. Um, as far as a CD, I don't recommend CDs because the whole point of a savings account is to be able to save your money but have access to cash and so if you're putting your money in a cd you won't have access to your cash so if you're saving for a wedding or you're saving for a graduation or you're saving for prom or a vacation you want to take your kids to disney world you're not going to put that money in a cd because the cd ties up your money and that's not the point of savings savings which is different from investing i'll get into that in a minute is where you wanna put your money, your liquid cash money that you're going to need immediately for emergencies, okay? Or some event that's coming up soon. So a CD, yeah, don't tie up your money. If you're gonna, you, you know, there's ways to not tie up your money and make even more or higher interest rates than you would in a CD. So I do not, I just absolutely do not recommend CDs. You can do anything but 
a CD. Now, if you're an adult, where do you want to put your money? I would say for me, my suggestion would be to choose an um, high yield savings or money market. Why would you not? Why would you put your money in a regular savings account uh, for a traditional account getting very low interest and you're not really making that, that much money? Some of these interest rates on these traditional accounts are less than 1%. You're making like 0.01%, 0.02%. What, what? what are you going to do with that? That's not going to get you anywhere. Okay. But if you have enough money to open up a high yield savings or money market account and you do have plans to constantly continue to put the money in there, then I would definitely recommend one or the other. You don't necessarily need both as long as we're getting a higher rate than you would get with a traditional savings. That's where I would tell an adult to put their savings account. Now, for your child, that's going to be very, very difficult. For your child, they're a minor. There's only so certain accounts that they let you open up for a minor, minor which is called a custodial account. And usually that comes with um, uh, your traditional savings that might have a little bit higher interest rate. You might find some banks that will allow you to open up um, a youth account or a minor account under a, um, for a high yield savings or money market. But typically they have specialty accounts for our minors um, for savings and those interest rates are usually not that great. Okay. So you're kind of limited. If you wanted to really save for your child, what I would recommend is that you look into an index universal life policy. Now that's not a savings account. It is a life insurance policy, but it has a, uh, savings, a, a cash value that you can build up. Now, if you uh, have your child and they're a minor or they're still young and you have some years to build up that money, then you might want to look into that. That's probably going to be a little bit more lucrative for you than having a, a minor savings account and putting money in there and not getting very much interest. You're maybe, you may be, I'm not saying you're going to be, but you may be better off looking into an IUL because you need to get insurance for your child anyway. You should have insurance for your child, not just through your job, which is totally different conversation. We're not going to get into that today, but you should have insurance on your child. Don't take for granted that your baby, your toddler, your um, teenager is going to be here tomorrow. You should be insuring them. And if you're going to insure them, you might as well make some money as well. So IUL allows you to insure your child's life while building a cash value, okay? Which a lot of times has can have a better return um, than you would with the traditional savings because they are, depending on the carrier and depending on the option that you choose, they're using the index to determine how much money they're going to credit to your account and it's compounded. And the index you has a record of doing very, very well. So you're not going to lose. You get to insure them and you get to make some money. Now, last thing I'm going to talk about is this savings versus investing. Now I know my viewer asked about savings, but the question always becomes the, you know, saving, should I be saving or should I be investing? And the, the, the answer to that is this. If you have three to six months emergency fund already saved up, then you should be looking into investing, not putting your money into a high yield savings, not putting your money into a money market account. Those type, those type of savings account are for the short term, it's for liquid cash, it's for emergencies, it's for I need my money now, I can go get it tomorrow. So you want to make sure that you have enough money in your savings that if something happened, I would be able to have access to cash to get whatever is done, whatever repairs, whatever deductible, whatever it is that I need. Anything beyond your emergency fund of three to six months, you know, three at the minimum, then you will want to take that money and start investing that money um, so that you can get a higher return on your money than you would get from a savings account. 
and there's all kind of ways but i'm not going to get into that today we'll save that for another day okay so i hope this was helpful for you i hope it was informative of how you can put your money to work for you in a savings account um, while you're trying to build an emergency fund okay now where you are it's not where you have to be your past does not define you you define you so heal transform and pursue you Thank you.